Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I'm checking in from home. It's a warm evening here in Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm getting in some beers. So the beer I have for you now is Bohemian Special Brew, and this is from the George Wiedemann Brewing Company out of Cincinnati, Ohio. And this beer is something that I haven't seen in a while. And actually, when I picked it up at Rosie's for $1.50, I thought I'd never had it before. But apparently, I've had it a few times. I actually went to the brewery down in Cincinnati in 2021. But I hit a lot of breweries while I was down there for that weekend. I totally forgot that I'd been to the brewery. But I have had this before. And this is, like I said, Wiedemann's Fine Beer, Bohemian Special Brew, Golden Pilsner. Brewed and canned by George Wiedemann Brewing Company, Cincinnati, Ohio, USA. Voted Cincinnati's favorite beer in 2022 and I don't know if that says 2023 2021 and 2022 so that's really cool it was voted Cincinnati's favorite beer on the back of the can here see if I can read it it says Wiedemann's beer dates back to 1870 when George Wiedemann crossed over the Ohio River and first brewed his German lager in Newport Kentucky they quickly gained favor, and his upstart brewery prospered, even during Prohibition. One of out-of-town owners eventually shut down the Newport operation in 1983, but diehard local fans with loyalty that runs generations deep refused to let it go. A new locally-owned Wiedemann's Brewery opened in 2018, reviving its famed Bohemian Special Brew, along with other innovative craft beers. We invite you to enjoy this 150-year-old tradition and share in Wiedemann's proud history of world-class brewing. Try it, you'll agree. George would have been proud to call it his own. So there's this other little blurb from Untapped about the brewery I'd like, you, like to read you. It says a little bit like that, but George Wiedemann was a German Im immigrant, and he began brewing Wiedemann's fine beer back in 1870. He had moved from Cincinnati, where he was brewmaster at Kaufman Brewery in Over the Rhine, to Newport, where he partnered with John Butcher at the Jackson Street Brewery. That's where Wiedemann's beer was born and the legend began. George later bought out his partner Incorporated and, in, and incorporated as the George Wiedemann Brewing Company in 1878. A few, few years later, he bought the Constance Brewery in Newport, adding a large malt house and hillside lagering cellar to his operation. Wiedemann's quickly grew to be among the area's favorite beers, including a golden bohemian lager for which it's still famous today. Thirst quenching and always refreshing, Wiedemann's beers were known throughout the region for their full flavor and constant high quality. And the Wiedemann's Brewery's open air tap room became a popular gathering place for the community. So it's sad to hear that that original brewery isn't there anymore, but it's cool to see somebody or the fans or whoever revived this brewery, brought this beer back. Hopefully it's the same as the original uh, recipe and the original beer, but I don't know. I never had the original one. Like I said, I've had these a few times, but they've all been since the brewery reopened. I do remember seeing Wiedemann's at one point. I don't even know if it's the same brewery or if it was a different beer. But like I said, this is, uh, I bought this for a $1.50 at Rosie's Wine House. And when untapped, it gets a 3.32 with 4.4 thousand check-ins. And on Beer Advocate, I totally forgot what it is, didn't write it down, so I will just look that up real quick, and we'll be right back. On Beer Advocate, it gets a 70 okay, but there were only about 42 check-ins to it, which I'm kind of surprised, I and mean, I thought with almost with 4,500 check-ins on, on, on tap, there'd be a little more check-ins than that on Beer Advocate, but I guess this isn't some crazy over-the-top special beer, so maybe it's not surprising. And on the can here, it says... 320 2024 so that would be when it was canned on nice to have that date on there um, I don't see the alcohol listed but untapped whether it's correct or not says it's five percent now when I poured it it had a nice white head that just dissipated super quick as gone the glass is kind of fogging up from condensation because it's a hot humid evening here but that is super clear I mean that's well it's a little hazy but I mean that's just light yellow I would give that a one on my winemaker's SRM chart. I mean, that's just a, a chalky white straw yellow. You can see through it. 
all right, but not super see-through. As far as smell, not getting much on the nose. Like a faint crackery note, like bready crackery, but not much else on the nose. And I'm sweating here, it's hot, so I definitely did take a drink. Cheers. Light bodied, and surprisingly there's, there's some carbonation on the mouthfeel that I wasn't expecting. Cause I'm not seeing a whole lot of carbonation in the glass. But you get some carbonation in the mouthfeel, but it, it's additive, it's nice. I mean, it, it, it goes with the beer. It, it, it goes with the body. It, it's actually not off-putting. Just some light, nice light bready crackery flavors. Tiny bit of bittering hops in there. Pretty clean, dry finish actually. Surprisingly, it's a dry finish. Beer's all right. I'd give this beer a horns up. I mean, this would be a good beer on a hot day. It's hot now. It's delicious right now. Really enjoy this beer right now. Oh, it does say 5% on the can. I just noticed it. I'm a dummy. This is a nice lager. Nice, easy drinking lager. Perfect for a hot summer day. I could see down Cincinnati sitting on the river drinking these while you're fishing or, or swimming or anything to do because the Cincinnati Ohio River's right there. Be a perfect beer for just a day out on the river. It's a good beer. Weedman's Fine Beers, I mean, appreciate you bringing back this uh, classic beer. That's really cool to see that happen. And I hope you all appreciate my video. If you do, let me know down below. And as always, embrace the adventure.